That is called the sheep shagger, and this is an unbelievable fly. The, the chair will just come right out of the water to, to grab that. Yeah, I'm not sure it really matters what fly. The fishing here is so, so good that uh, I think as long as you've got a hook on it, I think you'll do just fine. There's this one, it's a Millbrook. Although it's a long fly, it's only got one hook in it. The hook's right at the back. So it's very easy. You can bend that barb down and you can catch char on that. It's just one of the top flies up here. This is a double bunny. Again, one barbless hook inside. It's got a barb on it, but it'll be bent down. And it's just two rabbit strips glued together with the contact cement. A uh, black and a, a brown, this one, and various color combinations work. And uh, the, the good thing about this fly is you can catch uh, 50, 75 char on one fly. It's so tough. This is a classic. That's the Klauser Minna. That color combination. Uh, chartreuse on the bottom and white on top. A little flash along the edge here. That's a, that's a fantastic fly. This is another one that's probably important to have. It's a, a shrimp pattern. There are huge numbers of shrimp um, here, and when they're on shrimps, very good pattern to use. So if you've got those flies, you've probably got all you need uh, for Payne River.